Welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV, everybody. My name is Ross, and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Pool of Radiance. So the next quests we're going to tackle include Zentil Keep, which was given to us by Lord Kadorna. Um, so I'm going to start with Zentil Keep, which is a trap, as it will turn out. To get there, we're going to go to the passenger docks. As you can see here, to the north is the passenger dock. We're going to go west. Zentil Keep is like the furthest point to the west on the world map. Let's go now. Our master tells you boats leave for the west, the east, and Sokol Keep, also the north side of the bay. Round trip passage is one platinum piece. What passage can I sell you? West. A hamburger will pay. The only thing you guys missed between episodes was I went to see if anybody could level up. Um, and Helper leveled up as both a fighter and as a thief. Helper is on it. So on the way to Zental Keep, there's a patch of sand out here that I'm going to go through. I'm not going to deal with cobalt right now. There are Thrycreen here. Group of tigers. Monsters flee. Here's the patch of sand. Group of soldiers. Parlay. Nice. There's the soldiers that combat is not necessary and you go on your way. Rise right, a group of quicklings. All right. Quicklings are fun. Look how far they can move. Look at that. 96 movement. Just fantastic. Just great. That's just amazing. Quicklings are kind of a second edition creature that later editions really didn't give a lot of love to. The reason why quicklings are cool, in my opinion, is because, look at that. They only have seven hit points, but their armor class is negative three. That's because they move so quickly that they turn invisible. And they're darting around, stabbing you with a tiny little sword, and you can't see them. We're gonna have a hard time hitting them. So what we're gonna do is this, actually. Move, no, cast Magic Missile. Because I don't care how quick you are, you ain't quick enough for Magic Missile. Eat it. Have another one. You. We are otherwise gonna have some issues. Ouch. Uh, you cast Magic Missile. Oh, no, it only did six. There we go. The Magic Missile them to death. Oh, got him from behind. Crackalaka. No, Crackalaka has no chance. Oh, my God, cheese hit him. Amazing. The Cleric. Look at that. They give you a lot of stuff, too. 12 gems is a lot of stuff. That's really good. But they're not the reason why I wanted to uh, hang out in this little desert patch right here. There are Thrycreen here. Now, Thrycreen are these hive mind insect creatures. Have a special ability where they can grapple you, which would be the modern term for it, and restrain you. Or they grapple you, basically. But in the second edition, it's called Hold fast. They hold you fast. Uh, and this particular game, Pool of Radiance, has a bug in it where the held fast condition never leaves your character. It doesn't make sense. It is a bug. But even after the fight, your character can no longer move. Ever. There is a way for you to go into your save file, uh, data mine your actual character, and there is some code there that says, you know, is held fast equals one. So you can change to zero um, or whatever the code. I think it might be JSON. So it'd be not, not zero. You change it to false. Um, but otherwise there's no way around it. You're just held fast. So we can't get hit by Thrycreen. Again, they give you a lot of gems and we're going to do it because it's a point of interest, but um, it's really not that fun of a fight. Usually in the center. There they are. Oh, oh no. Ankegs, not Thrycreen. Ankegs. Ankegs are also fun. They do acid damage. Tell you what, I once ran a uh, Ankeg encounter for a couple groups who play in the same homebrewed adventure. I gave the Ankegs a special ability to like shoot acid blood from their wounds that the party was inflicting on them as like kind of like a 
almost like a lair action kind of. We're gonna get. I'm gonna try and rest to get all these spells back. So I don't even know if Stinging Cloud works on Ankex. But similar to Thrycreen, Ankex are like a hive mind insect creature. And they try to digest you alive with their acid saliva and everything. They didn't get to hit us, but... Oh, hold on. There we go. They didn't get to hit us, but... Um, similar idea, they might grapple you and just use their acid to start to digest you, but... Yeah, not Thrycreen, Ankex. Why do they think it was Thrycreen? Group of tigers? Aw, oh, I don't want to fight tigers. Only two of them. Why would tigers do this in the wild? Doesn't make any sense. Tigers, go away. We can do things like fireball. We can do them twice. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to do it. Lost the spell. Shit on oh, my nuts. Okay. All right, I'm gonna toast your friend. That could have been better. That's concerning. Now we can move. All right. I don't know what's going on there. I hit some wrong button. Anyway, surprised by a group of thieves. Parlay. Nice. There's Entel Keep. All right. We're going to rest out here. We're going to try and get our spells back. Surprised by hand kegs. Well, it's that a group of them. Is it just one? Let's do. Okay. Maybe we'll get to see them use their uh, acid attack in this fight. That'd be interesting. Oh my word, we tooled on that poor guy. Poor hand keg. You know what? Actually, you stay back. Oh, there we go. Acid damage. There it is. So exciting. Oop. Oh! <laughs> there it was again. He spit acid at him. Alright, we're gonna have to heal him. Yeah, secure light wounds on yourself. Alright, we have full health, full spells. Group of men on horseback ride out to meet you. Their leader says, Are you the diplomatic envoys from New Flan? What do you say? Yes. The riders escort you into the keep. You're being escorted into Zentil Glove's post. From here, you see a large inner wall around the central keep. This area is busy with men entering and leaving barracks. You are led toward the central keep. You're inside the Commandant's office. He greets you and you hand him the papers. After skimming through the papers, the Commandant says, I welcome you and, you and hope you will join me for dinner tonight. Tells you a guard to give you a tour of the outpost. The guard giving the tour says, Here you see one of our six, sorry, one of our fine barracks. There are six of these here and each can hold over a hundred men. Here you see one of our fine watchtowers, which were built by the finest stonemasons in the land. From here you can also see our solidly built outside wall. This wall has survived many attacks, including one from a dragon. Ooh. Guard says, that concludes the tour. I will show you to your quarters. You don't really know much about this place, do you? Guard says, here are your quarters. Do not leave this area. He then leaves. I ain't cool. At dusk, a guard comes by to escort you to dinner. You arrive at the officer's mess and are seated with the commandant and his advisors. A fine meal of roast boar is served with a hearty red wine. The commandant turns to one of the characters and says, So, how's everything in Flan? What will you talk about? Let's talk about the city. We're going to talk about New Rule Flan. We're going to talk about New Flan. Talk about New Flan. The commandant listens carefully. The commandant says, Is it true that the real power in New Flan is Bishop Brachio? I'm going to say no. So the Bishop Brachio is not the real power in Flan, and the Commandant responds by saying, The citizens of Flan are wise to not follow an idiot from the Temple of Tyr. 
Okay, continue your conversation with the Commandant. We'll be your next topic of discussions. Magic. One of the Commandant's advisors asked you if you've heard of any unique magical items or places. Mention the Pool of Radiance. As you mention the Pool of Radiance, the Commandant tells you a story about that very pool. You enjoy the story and copy it into your journal under Entry 46, which goes a little like this. Told as a jaunty after-dinner conversation. Quote, this is an old story that I first heard while serving at the Citadel of the Raven. Durg was the usual barbarian hero, the type able to snap five men's backs with, ba with his bare hands, wrestle and tame the cloud horses, pierce a man with a javelin from many miles away, and other equally preposterous things. Story goes that Durg and his band of men found a pool of unfrozen water while wandering in the snowy wastes. Durg's little pet lizard Jesma got too close to the pool and discovered that not only was the water not frozen, it was boiling hot. So hot that it cooked the skin right off Chesma. Durg was so angered, he thrust his spear into the pool and roiled the waters. The demon of fire that inhabited the pool was disturbed and roared out of the pool to do battle. The demon left from man to man, consuming them in a single touch. The demon of fire could not defeat Durg. Neither could Durg find a weapon strong enough to withstand the creature's fire. After battling for an entire day, Durg finally called upon his totem god for aid. With this magical aid, Durg was able to trap the flaming demon in a triangle of power, where supposedly he is even to this day. That's interesting. You continue your conversation with the Commandant. What will be your next topic of conversation? Uh, discussion? Politics. Mention politics, the Commandant asks, I've heard that Flan's town council is corrupt, specifically Ulrich Eberhard. Is this true? No. Eberhard is a loyal, honest man. The Commandant smirks and says, yes, of course he is. Talk a little while longer, and the Commandant states that he has outer, other duties to attend to. He bids you good night. There might be journal entries to be had for each one of those topics. Um, but I role-played there, because really, that's really the only time in the entire game where role-playing is possible, or you really even an option. How do you spend the night? Go to sleep? Go to sleep with a watch. I mean, obviously sleep with a watch. Wait in a room for about two hours, and suddenly, four armed guards burst in and attack you. Well... Crackalaka then. Oh, they got bows. I don't like bows. Hmm. All right. Nothing magical here. Is to defeat the guard, some more men run in and attack. No, it might hide the juice around the corner. She's gonna need her hit points for this one. And we need to save her spells for two particular fights. Back. There we go. Now she can get away. point on well, after we do this fight there'll be alarm ringing we'll be wandering around Zental Keep encountering roving bands of soldiers and we're gonna have to repeat fights several times until we get lucky and we find two other bands of wandering soldiers one is um, a squad led by a dwarf and it's really important we do that fight to kill the dwarf. Because on his person are more gauntlets of ogre power. If you don't kill him, if he runs away, you don't get them. So you make sure you take him out. And then the other fight we have to do is against the commandant himself. And usually, typically, after you finally find the... Uh, a dwarf, the commandant's usually the next one. 
Oh, wow. It's perfect amount of hit points. Needed to take him out. Nice shot, helper. Nice shot. But not always. So I'm going to do one of the fights and show you. The helper needs more arrows. But I'm not going to make you sit through every single one. I'll do them as needed. So it could be are these magical arrows. What? No, they can't be. Alarm goes off in the distance. All right. Here's the map. Big old smiley robot face in the middle. We're just going to keep walking until we, uh, you know, find some soldiers and we'll kill them. And then we'll find some more soldiers and kill them. Then we'll find some more soldiers and kill them. Then we'll find some more soldiers and kill them. Then we'll find some more soldiers and kill them. Then we'll find some more soldiers and kill them. And then we'll find the dwarf. And then the commandant. Come on, soldiers. Where the F are you? Walls climbable here. We scale over it. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. No, I want to fight these these a holes. There we go. They're sweepable, which is good. oh, it's corporal. Yeah, right, right, right. No, 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 no. You tried to trick me. Nice. Okay, we should do that like 40 more times. One coral, oh, that's one, that's one thing that really is kind of fun about this adventure with this particular quest. Uh, they all carry light crossbows with one coral, so they all take a shot with a crossbow, drop them, and then go to melee, which is a thing I have done in games I've run. There's great confusion as the guards run to their posts. Sure, some guards spot you in attack. I would hope they would. There's more of them, though. Corporals. There are three types of enemies. Uh, guards, who we can sweep. Corporals. And aides. That all have the same icon. That sort of... Two-handed sword, blue tunic, with a bandana. Look. Headscarf, whatever that might be. I believe you will, we will encounter them all here in this quest. You do encounter aids in other quests. Um, like the Cobalt Case, which we have not done yet. Because I think that's the most difficult quest in the entire game. And I'm saving it for when we have three characters and cast Fireball. Alright, I think we only have two. Ow. Let's take out the guards. Nice. <laughs> that's so much fun. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. I wasn't paying attention. We have blue tunics too, so it's like. No, 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 come back. We're just getting started. We're having some much fun. Mm -hmm, chase him down and murder him. Oh, he's gonna get away. Wow, he can move a lot. We're so laden down with platinum. <laughs> we can't chase him down. Even our thief is like slow poke. Guard got away. Okay. All right. Where's this dwarf at? Come on. Come on, dwarf. Nope. Nope. Just more guards. All right. I mean, we got beat up pretty good. Um, we better be pretty close to finding this. Fighting this dwarf here. Hmm. 
I was actually really hoping to save these potions. Um, for the cobalt layers, because we really need them for those. Aha, a large group of men led by a dwarf runs forward to attack. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to stink this up. We also haven't used any of our fireballs. That's good. Uh, until now. Hold him. Hold him. Another corporal? Oh, AIDS. Okay. Yes! Excellent. Oh, yeah, let's just blow him up. Boom! Nine damage? That's a really weak fireball. Oh, that upsets me a lot, actually. Uh, fireball should be a lot more effective than this. Bad roll. Just a bad roll. That happens. Alright, well, this fight's gonna be a lot harder than it should be. But, uh... The dice or the storyteller, we can't be. There will be a YouTube video when uh, my D&D &D content starts coming out about dice rolls. I have a lot to say about what dice represent in the game. You're going to hear about it. Stay tuned. Hmm, just got hit. We're out of Cure Light Wound spells. Mm. Okay. I mean, a lot of sitting around waiting for a turn. Um, oh, getting drilled. This is this is the most difficult I think this quest has ever been for me. This is unless, except for the times when I've tried to play this game with a party of only one in class. Trying to do this with all fighters was a, an ordeal. And uh, I don't think I got to this point with all clerics, which was the other single class party I tried to use, tried to do it with. Okay. This is more out of self preservation than anything. Okay, Corporal. Mm. Yeah. Got them both. That's nice. And we got the dwarf down. That's really important. Oh, bring them with that plus three morning star. Son of a morning star. <sighs> These thinking clouds are really good so the reason why the main reason why i prefer hold person is a magic user spell as well as a cleric spell and you notice that i don't i don't have my magic users casting hold person i have them casting stinking cloud the reason is first of all stinking cloud works on some creatures that hold person might not work on and vice versa the other thing is it creates these barriers that the AI, the AI almost never will willing, willingly walk into a stinking cloud. 
creates these barriers where you can funnel troops like this. Um, yeah. Make things easier and really be strategic about your moves. So, I mean, for the most part, I would say Stinking Cloud, combinations of Stinking Cloud and Whole Person and Sleep are the most effective control spells in Pool of Radiance. Those three, that's the trifecta, that's the holy trinity of control spells. Of course, Fireball, Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile are the damage dealing spells. Oh, he somehow knew that it was dissipating. Jackalaka. Corporal. Ooh, they're all corporals. Oh my god. He's got a plus four longsword and he misses twice in a row. Unacceptable. I had to get that AIDS before he that aid before he went down. Before he got out of his nauseating stupor, that is. Where he wasn't helpless. Where we can just one shot him. Come on, you gotta hit one of those guys. Oh, they're fleeing. That's interesting. One hit point. Come on. Man, I'm really upset that I had to use all those potions. We do really need them for kobolds. We'll see why. Can't think of any other place where I might be able to find them. We might do an episode where we explore the world map before we do the kobold cave. Because, I mean, we just, we need more potions of healing. It's really the only reason. Uh, but there are hobgoblin caves to the south of where the uh, kobolds are. They might have healing potions. Um, it could be around. Rackalacka Lou. Aw, oh, man. Alright, so after this, the next fight should be the Commandant. And then we should be good to go. That should be it for this quest. You actually defeat the Commandant. Nobody attacks you. They're all just like, who's the leader? Who's in charge now? I don't know. I'm in charge. No, I'm in charge. I mean, they don't... Uh, Game doesn't explicitly say that that's what's happening, but narratively, I like to think. I was out of range. The game gives you plus one short bows, which is great. But the, um, the drawback is their range is limited uh, compared to long bows and composite bows, at least. Nope. Oh, we're definitely taking some stuff. Take. Gauntlets. A chainmail might be magical too. I don't actually remember. But the real the real take here is the uh with that long sword as well. Group, large group of men led by the commandant rush forward and attack. Alright, you son of a bitch. Guess the fireball. Elham Dazid is a spellcaster. There's the commandant. 100 hit points is a lot. Oh, there are more people here than I remember. Come on, baby. No. All right. That's good, at least. Bunch of aids back here, so I'm gonna put it a little further back than I normally would. All 
Alright, good. He still has a fireball. We're gonna cast Thinking Cloud now. Try and neutralize the Commandant. Hmm. And then, uh, Helper's gonna take out the magic user there. Commandant is kind of difficult to fight if you don't aren't able to hold him. Ugh, see, he just cracked hamburger. Helper's taking some damage. Everybody's taking some damage. This is the closest this quest has maybe ever been. Alright. Take him out. Definitely need a spellcaster added into this. No! Juice! Stay on your feet! My hamburger got hit. That's upsetting! Hamburger hit again! Oh, this is not good. The reason why it's upsetting is because I want Hamburger to be able to cast a fireball. Cast another stinking cloud. They're all corporals. Yes, fireball. Do it, do it now. Oh, don't lose the spell. Yeah, commandant, you. And actually, I'm gonna do you. And... No. I don't know if I can beat him if I can't hold him. I honestly don't think I can beat him if I cannot hold him. Should take out a lot of them because the first fireball weakened them. And this should help a little bit. I got scrolls of fireball, but again, I'm saving it for the cobalt caves. Commandant is still. Just coughing. Okay, they don't stack. You're about to go down. Well, that's bad. That wasn't what we wanted at all. We're gonna bandage hamburger. Last whole person. Come on, baby. No. Uh, all right. We're going to have to focus some fire on him then. Oh, so bad. Still just coughing. Still just coughing. And we don't have enough magic missiles for this. A miracle if we pull this out actually. Oh, 
Oh, he's nauseated. Glimmer of hope. Finally, at the end of all things. All right. Now we have to survive this. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm gonna take some of these guys out. 24 points of damage. See, that's what I needed at the outset of this. It's killing people outright. That's what we wanted. And we didn't get it. Starting to flee. Wow, that's... I can't believe Helper and... Helper and the Juice pulled it out. Amazing. Oh man, these aids can just turn on fire like that. I don't like this. We're just gonna... I don't care about... The run away, that's fine. We got what we came for. We're just gonna take out the helpless ones. Wow, that was clutch, that, uh... Commandant getting nauseated right at the end there. Man. 8,000 experience. Well, if we couldn't cast Fireball before with Helper, we will now. All right. Yep, all of this is very magical. And, uh, Helper. That's a Javelin of Lightning, actually. Uh, javelin of Lightning, Plate Mail, Shield, Ring. Okay, overloaded. Jeez, you're unconscious, but take some stuff. Take the ring, three potions, the bracers, the ring, the wand. Okay, the juice. That longsword might also be magical. Take, take. Longbow's useless, but I'm going to take it anyway. Just in case. No, after killing the commandant, the rest of the outpost either surrenders or runs away. All right. I'm going to try resting here and see what happens. I'm going to save the game. All right, it's good. We can rest here. Wow, that was very close. And I'm very sad that hamburger and cheese couldn't get that experience. Well, actually, the che cheese is maxed out in levels. He cannot level up anymore. That's as far as clerics go in this game, unfortunately. Wow, and they had four hit points left apiece. That was really close. If those guys stayed and fought, we probably would have lost. Anyway, we're going to rest up. We're going to head back to town, get our reward, and then head over to the Temple of Bane. Which we will do in the next episode. All right, we made it back. We made it back. Let's go get our reward for delivering um, those papers to Zentel Keep. Which turned out to be a trap. After your entry, the council cleric begins looking through a stack of papers. Before I can offer any commissions, I must see if you're due a current reward. Clerk speaks, we were pleasantly surprised that you completed your mission so swiftly. Adorna was wagering your return would be much delayed. Here's your reward. Heck yeah. That's good experience. Share that. Orpheus Cardorna is a traitor to the city. If you find him, kill him. Now, those are orders coming from the city council. Matter Commission will offer the following. Large tribe of kobolds. Lord Urslingen wishes urgently to speak with you. Go through the south door of the traitor Cardorna's old quarters. Thank you for coming. I must be brief for our need is urgent. Our one chance to defeat the enemy is through, the, through an assault on the castle. To do this, we must first secure... So you know, gate. It is too strong to be taken by storm. A small band must slip inside and hold until relieved. They were the best and the bravest. Councils instructed me to entrust the task to you. All right. That's an assault on the gate to the castle. That's where Tyrant Thraxis lives. We also get access to these back rooms for the first time. You're intercepted by the council guard. Halt, your presence is not authorized. Leave. Yes, we leave. All right, we're going to get some stuff identified. We're going to level up. Uh, Stoyanov Gate is one that we're going to do perhaps um, before the Cobalt Caves even uh, because it is easier. <laughs> I don't have any other 
Yeah, Gauntlets of Ogre Power, we knew that. I'm actually going to give these to, uh, Jeez. He's over there. Oh, Helper is a level 5 magic user. That means she can cast Fireball, baby. That's dope. Um, all right, thank you so much for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Pool of Radiance. It's Zento Keep. Next is the Temple of Bane. We're going to do the Temple of Bane, then the Gate, and then we'll do the Kobolds. And then after that, the only thing left is the castle itself. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care for now, and uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.